Hi friends, I'm a dumbass. I'm back for the demo where I'm trying this game out. And essentially there was a door that opened in the lobby to the right. So I'm a silly goose. <laughs> oh, cool. Well, we already had that, didn't we? But maybe not. No, no, no. We had the one for, um, no, I don't know what we had, but we had something. Uh, volunteer attitude. Miss Goodwin, I'm going to need more support. The volunteers are agitated more than usual. This morning, Eleven threatened to bash my head in if I did th didn't let them out to stretch his legs. Oh, Eleven is in a person. Uh, when you get up here, the key code is 3401. Not the old number on file, so that's two. I'm pretty sure they've been watching me punch that in, so I changed it. John Haskins, and then Gustav Mating. I keep doing that. Okay, 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 thank you. I relayed your previous request, and we'll see what we can do, but there are no guarantees. The schedule for the visit is tight and may, may not allow for a face-to-face. -face. I'll let you know when I have more details. Sincerely, Bianca. She's the volunteering guest liaison. It's good with the follow up previous. I was wondering if there'd been any updates on Gustav Leitner's visits. And if so, would it be possible to get a copy of his itinerary? Love to meet him before the neuromapping procedure, if possible. Yeah, Igwe showed up quiet and polite. He shook Leitner's hand like he was afraid of breaking him, asked him to sign an album he'd bought. Leitner seemed flattered, so that was a plus. We tried to make him comfortable. His condition hasn't stopped him from craving a cigarette. Fingers are twitching. It's too bad. Such a talent. No wonder he wanted to get scanned. Helen. The nature of consciousness remains deeply mysterious. How can the subjective nature of experience, my inner life, be explained in scientific terms? Does consciousness emerge from complex com computations? Computations sounds like um, brain neurons, or is it a fundamental and irreducible property woven into the fabric of the universe? Staff, please move these remaining boxes to my new office and Neuromod division as soon as possible. The brain was once considered too warm, wet, noisy for seemingly delicate quantum processes. However, the discovery of quantum coherence and biological processes such as plant photosynthesis, <laughs> avian navigation, and our own sense of smell paved the way for the eventual discovery of quantum vibrations inside the microtubules tubules of neurons. Oh god. They can me read words here. Sylvian, I'm trusting you with my brain. You do good work for Morgan Yu. Oh, we were here. You do good work, so hopefully that continues. Listen, smiley face or winky face. If the tests don't go well, if something happens, let Alex know that I that it wasn't his fault. I signed up for this. Oh, we signed up for something. Also, if the tests drag on, consider moving your office down to, to sim. Less hassle and you can always move back after we celebrate our success. To your office is zero four five one. Scanning target, no alien material detected. Yeah, cool man. You're a good helper. Attitude adjustment required. Oh god. Who? Me? You? Oh. Oh my god. Passwords. Oh my god, hot boss. Wow. Check. Verbose. IFF. Key code Nothing. changed. Power load. Uh, Nate screwed the key back to Nothing. my office. Had it set to 0451. I'll be in lab engineering. Blah, blah, blah. 0451. And what was that supposed to be to? From Morgan. Oh, so that's our office code.
Welcome back. This has been your home for the last three years. The video should be on your workstation. I'm not going to mess with that on a demo, because um, I'm not sure what I'm doing. Oh gosh, lots of crafting. Good morning, Morgan. I got the plane you requested. It's in your safe. You made it, EOM. January. I still know what happened. I've put it behind me. But there's no reason we can't still be civil. You passed me in the hall today. And you look through me. If you're angry at something I did, tell me and we can talk about it. Pretending you don't even know what I am, who I am, isn't going to help. We still have to work together. Micah. Michalia. Michalia. Ayushin. Oh god, I hope that's our lover that doesn't change. Even. I don't know. That would be cool. Okay, do not disturb. Uh, Morgan, as requested, your terminal alarms are set to be automatically forwarded to your suite in the crew quarters and supplies from hardware sent up. Let me know if they get you they get you all right, and if not, I'll get it resolved. They get you all right. The Like last week, I'll make sure you aren't disturbed in the interim. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. I'll hold down the forward outside your office, Jason. Hello, Morgan. This LGV file should clear things up. Make sure you're alone when you play it. Uh-oh. Hello, Morgan. Tough day, right? If I'm talking to myself, it must be. Your memory shot full of holes, I know. I'm sorry, but it's permanent. So the first thing you need to know is you can trust January. It's an operator, a sort of backup of you and me. It knows what you've forgotten. We've been testing a new kind of neuromod based on the Typhon organisms, mapping their neural patterns onto ours. Problem is, when you uninstall a Neuromod, it resets your memory back to the moment you first put it in. That's why you forget. There's supposed to be a process that brings you back up to speed between test runs. But someone could just skip that part. Turn a single day into your entire life. Well, that's exactly what Alex did. The question is, why? You're not going to like what I have to say next. Uh, uh, um, um. I thought I found every one of those damn videos. Sorry, but I can't let you listen to that. Not until I've had a chance to explain everything in person. For now, just... Damn it. I have to go. Just sit tight. Please. Oh my god. No. First excerpt from the 
commercialization of the space program. Um, in Kennedy's second term, the space race reached new heights and without his support uh, may have sputtered completely. A successful moon launch launches a succession the moon launches heralded the coming of an accelerated energetic space program both within the halls of government and in the public eye unusual at the time especially in contrast to kennedy's first term rather than being simply a race between two powers the soviets and the united states seem to be reaching out to space together that's sort of nice shit then we can't sorry morgan Alex cut us off from the Looking Glass servers. Time to improvise. I suggest you search Dr. Calvino's workshop in the hardware labs. He invented the Looking Glass technology. You might find a way to restore the server connections there. Hmm. I'm looking for another so way to help voice? you in the meantime. Good luck. Okay, I want to see what this is. Um, so, what does that do? I don't think I have anything. We'll just drop off what we have. I guess that's what we have. Like, I don't understand. Um... the hell could that be oh that's that's not edible oh oh that is but i'm thinking of the banana peel didn't we get banana peels can we material yield i'm a little confused let's try the paper can i do shit with that let's um or is that just disposing of it That's how we get matter. Well, what kind do we need? Oh. Held in inventory too. I'm confused. This is not explaining it very well. I see organic matter, but... Okay, so I just need a bunch of those. Uh, I might do that when I'm through with the, just in case I purchase the game someday. I'm okay. target, no alien material uh, we already did, oh, we're going here? Oh, that's where we came, no, hold Is this not where we came from? Oh, it is. God, I'm so dumb. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. I did nothing wrong. Okay. I think I can unlock it. Take advantage of the environment and tools. Uh, you do not have to fight every... You can use sneak past tough enemies or get the drop on them. Yeah. Ah! Ah! 
bummer. I could have gotten a gun and oh. Oh, I got a gun. Cool. Silence pistol. So yay, it's not loud. I love it. That's at least what that says. <laughs> Probably some noise, but so I can just recycle this stuff. Sweet, that seems useful. I kind of like that system, honestly. Thought it'd be a bit more annoying than this, but it seems pretty okay. waste my bullets next time, but I just wanted to test. It'll be fun to have to come back for that shit. Because I can't get it now. But I kept wondering why you'd need a damn banana peel. Makes sense. Okay, so that's where the trial stops. So I can do everything up till this point. Cool. Now I know. So if you were interested in playing it too, that's our stopping point. this do? At least can be thrown and attached to services. I don't know if that's going to do me any good. It worked. I needed the gun. So I'm just going to need a lot of bullets, which I'm thinking I don't have. Can I make bullets? Float. Oh, shit. Hold on. I should have, I guess. I can go back and start recycling. It's not really what I wanted to do, but I'd rather do that and then be able to pick up stuff, you know? But, um, I don't know. I mean, I think everything I have is something I should be recycling, I, I think. Am I, did I just turn myself around? Oh my god, I just went the wrong way again. This is my life. Where am I going? Help. There, there, there. I do that all the time. I'm so annoying. It's my fault. Okay. Sorry, friend. Alright. This, yeah, okay. So it's fairly easy to get back to our office and just... It's boring, but I will recycle stuff. So, boo.
Gotta make sure I'm not accidentally getting rid of anything else like that. All of these seem just like things that I'm allowed to get rid of, you know? bullets y'all but wait a minute this is we already have this why would we have to make another I guess my question I have is, how do I see inventory again? Okay, now I have some space, but do, does my wrench go bad? What do I need more wrenches? I get the glue canister, that's fairly Scanning obvious, but, no alien material uh, I don't know. Where am I, am I going the right way? No? Goes this way. God, I hope. Yep. Okay. We're fine. Let me go this way. Technically, I guess. If am I going the right way? This feels right. Um, I guess we're almost done with the demo then. I, mean, I still think there's stuff I opened I can take. I think we read this. Yeah. Yep, I think we did. It's actually a pretty neat system. The idea of recycling your crop and getting what you need to make new stuff. mean? Do I have to repair myself? Oh, I'm fine. <gasps> Sweet! Look at this! Oh my god. Huntress Boltcaster. I love it. Ability to annoy your co-workers. Mm, cool. To fire your toy gun. But, but uh, it, it could be something to distract, right? Or can I actually load it? Doesn't seem like something I need to read, but it's a neuromod application instructions. Can I turn this on? No, it doesn't have power. Can I restore power? Maybe that's stupid, but maybe there's a way. Good morning, Carlos. Sales folder. I don't think we have to worry too much about the side effects. From what I gathered, it's just a little pinprick near the eye, right? I mean, it looks scary, but I think if we get advertising to push some of the more appealing pros of NMs, we can shift public attention from that. I'm not too worried about red eye stuff either. I don't think any one person in the group sector is going to manage to get their hands on that many NMs at once, not at these prices. What if I find... What I find far more worrying, though, are these reports of memory loss during NM removal. I mean, amnesia? Seriously? Can we, we can't, we can rewire a person's brain, give them any skill we want, but we can't avoid resetting their head back to the moment they got that shit installed if we decide to take it out? If this leaks, it'll kill NM sales. Doesn't matter if you need specialized equipment and training to take one out. No one wants to risk losing years of their life just for the ability to speak French. This can't even go in fine print. As far as the customer is concerned, NMs are permanent. A -A -M. E. Uh, exports, you can't ship it home. It's already been noticed. One month pay makes it go away. Oh God.
In addition, in this edition of Trans Star Life, Life's Rising Star segment, we profile Harley Granger. Granger. I want to say Granger. 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 Let's just say Granger. That's how it seems like it should be spelled. I'm just. Anyway, a member of the Neuromod sales team who is currently stationed aboard Talos One. Some of you might recognize Harley's name from his professional baseball days when he played second base and wore number 66 for the Tornadoes. Harley was assigned to Talos One two years ago and has made the journey into orbit and back over 50 times. Not bad for someone who is afraid of flying. Oh, my time playing baseball forced me to deal with that fear, he said. Believe it or not, a shuttle flight to Talos One is far easier than a cross-country airliner trip. Hmm, that's nice. So this room is locked off until I get a key card, I guess. And I don't see any way to repair that. Hmm, let's go and try to take out those bastards. They are I'm prepared now, I got bullets. I get bullets like you ain't never seen. So should go better. Plus I think I have a key card to somewhere else too. where they are right okay <sighs> quick save get me a gun So that was them. You know, I thought it was. All oh, poor guys. That's scary. What is this? What's that? Null wave transmitter. Uh, emits a burst of signals. Oh god. Cool. I hate a lot of abilities though, so hopefully there's not too many because it tends to just confuse me and I don't know what to use and Sounds stupid, but it's true. I'm afraid of being quarantined, yeah? Okay. Can I get in there? Oh god. We don't, I mean, we might have the password, but I think if we have it, it tells us. <sighs> Do we want to go in there is, is a question in and of itself. Woo! Gustav Leitner. Patient tested positive for non-small cell lung cancer. Oh god. Patient did not list any ailments on their submission form prior to being taken to the skill recorder. Contact this patient immediately. If patients is still in Talos 1, have them report to the trauma center as soon as possible. White noise. More often white noise. 
more often called white noise due to the telltale spots said to be like static in the victim eyes white noise isn't just a medical condition and it's more than the wild almost which doctors like claims of psychic ability dr diago igui anyone it's disenfranchisement it says the victim can never have a neuromod nor can their brain be mapped it mapped it's the end of everything that is about a person who is trans star to decide will we let them add a biological caste system to the human race oh man don't have a password I actually really like this game so far. We already looted him, right? Yeah. Where is the guy we came here for? Um, you know. Doctor whatever. Wasn't he in the trauma center? Have I missed a room? Typical interrogation suspect portrayed by entertainment media is stubborn, clever, or even arrogant, entering into a verbal sparring match with the interrogating officer. While this makes for good drama, it's a poor representation of actual cases. It is important to know that the majority of suspects want to talk. Let them. Provide some prompts, but only to keep the words flowing. Do not attempt to direct them, but just keep them talking. My experience in the case studies back this has been that most people will move toward the information you want to know if you just listen to them and reaffirm their assumptions when they need it. I don't know why that's here, but okay. We need to repair? Uh... Know what that says? Psychological risk. Studies show that there is significant likelihood of behavioral conditions and psychiatric disorders emerging among the population of cruise station for longer than three months. Impacts of behavioral issues are minimized with appropriate tools for monitoring mood and predicting risk, while including as many Earth-like amenities and rec recreation amenities. Oh my God! What did I say? Amenities, amenities and recreations as possible. Session log. Transfer it. My concerns with Dr. Calvino is increasing. My concern. Uh, his, uh, his symptoms have escalated from memory loss and occasional disorientation to illusions and paranoia. His increased agitation in this session has given me cause to take his issues up with Alex during our next debriefing session. Okay. Tell me about the dream. The dream, yes, it's um, it's always in my lab, and um, I'm standing in front of the glass. Are you alone? Uh, yes. What do you see in the glass? Uh, nothing. At first, I don't want to turn it on, but I can't help it. I have to turn it on. When I do. It's like the heart of a black hole, an immense darkness. There's something swimming in the black. I catch glimpses, edges of the shape. I feel as though it wants to come through oh. onto my side. I have to turn off the glass before it sees me, but I always wake before I can. What does it look like, the shape in the glass? I, uh, nothing. Does it look like this image here? Dr. Calvino, does it look like this? No, 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 no that's... No, I, I don't... Um... Are you sure? Uh, where did you get that drawing? Have you been spying on me? I don't want to talk to you anymore. Wowza. Okay, something's happening. He's, he's brainwashed. He's like... Parasite with him or something? I don't know. Ha uh, Sarah. Sarah's hostilities toward me continue unabated. This distance she creates makes it difficult for me to address her issues of anxiety and distrust. Some of her answers today did lend me a bit of insight I might be able to use in future sessions to hopefully get her to open up more. Sarai, 
come in. It's Sarah, but you can call me Chief Elazar. Matt. Matthias, please. Forgive me, but your name is Sarai in the file. We've been over this. My mother Americanized it. Will we be spending the next 59 minutes like this? Because we could cut it short right now. We've discussed your mother. I thought perhaps today we could speak more about the career choices that were born of that. Serving in the military wasn't an excuse to get away from her nagging, Met. I was just... restless. And you're better now? Not restless? I'm fine. Because your last tour of duty was the evacuation, and reports from there... I saved as many as I could. For every soldier we lost, we were able to save a hundred civilians. Yes. Tragic. Still, to lose soldiers under your command... The cost was worth it, both in lives and the unification of the region. Taking on a losing battle like that? Fighting. Not enemy troops, but the equivalent of a natural disaster. It wasn't natural, it was man-made. It prepared me for here, Dr. Cole. Because this station? It's the same thing, a disaster waiting to happen. We are well-trained and poorly equipped. <sighs> the research is dangerous. Keeping secrets secret is dangerous. I'm sure you would agree. She sounds pretty okay. I mean, like she knows what's going on. Danielle exhibits relentless anger toward authority generally. Authority generally, and the yes specifically. Use? Oh, use. Uh, a few dental questions sent her on a tirade that ended with her storming out of the office. I wouldn't be surprised if she decided to skip these meetings for the rest of her tenure here on Talos 1. These psych evals are a waste of time. A waste of time? Like back on Earth? That was different. Was it? Anger, issues with authority... A year of counseling doesn't sound like a trivial matter. Those files were supposed to be closed. Are you angry? Oh, she's cute. I'm getting there. Any new relationships? No. I thought you and Miss Foy, the sanitation engineer, were seen together. Ooh. She's a sanitation boss. And we're not in a relationship. Not anymore. Ah. Ooh. And this separation... Did it involve anger? Issues with authority? Screw this! I'm done. Report me to the U's. I don't care. They're putting the station at risk just like Transtar North and just like on Earth's side. You assholes will bury it with your psych eval bullshit. And another thing. He cut her off. Okay. Um, have my people been coming to you? Hey, Matt. Had another one of my people present a side note from you for fatigue. I just want to make sure it's legit. Are there a lot of people coming to you with stress-related complaints? Or is it my imagination, Sylvan? Trevor Young. Mateus? Is that how you say it? Matthias doesn't seem right. Mateus seems somewhat right. Uh, Matthias, I don't know. Sue me. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. He walked into an experiment without a psychopy and it went psychop. God, you're killing me words with your stuff. Then it went sideways. We couldn't contain it after that. They controlled him. My suspicion is the ty t Typhon can force other beings to empathize, empathize with it. Maybe further down the road we can find a way to reverse engineer this, get them to sympathize empathize with us. Oh, was empathize, excuse me. Um, please keep Mr. Gunn in quarantine for the time being. You have my thanks. I got the E code. Anna, please keep staff away from the quarantine area. We have a potentially contagious subject in there who is suffering from memory loss. At this time, only Dr. Cole and myself should have access. Please set the new code to 6112. New test started. Factor analysis. Oh, is that for the thing over there? Oh, okay. Oh, boy. We still haven't found that, and we still need the, the guy we came here for. Oh, no matching key code. No, I'm looking for 
The guy, you know, that did our test initially. Where is he? Hold on. Search for Bellamy's course. A corpse. Um, wrote an email. Mm, apparently his corpse in the trauma center. Where? Isn't this trauma center? Where is he? Shit. This might be a thing that happens later too. Because I have not seen a damn corpse. A qualified engineer. Oh, I mean. Oh, I'm full. Wade, please see please with the chair on top. Fix the medical operator that's been sitting on your desk. I can repair that eventually. No space for that. System alert. Repairs needed. Crap. Please contact please a qualified engineer. I still don't see his body. And there's probably a power source that I have to fix at some point to get that functioning. Where are you, body? We we're in here. The place is if it's not in here. Like am I crazy? Maybe he knows? Maybe he knows where Bellamy is? Cause I don't gush I don't see Bellamy. And there's nothing else here. I guess maybe he knows. Maybe he's with Bellamy? That would be nuts. Seven three two four. What does that say? Dev Reese. Seven three two four. Maybe. Let's try that code on something else. Seven three two four. It's probably waiting for us, isn't it? Seven three two four. Hmm. 7324, but I don't know what that stood for anyway. I think there's only this one, right? Oh, I need a key card. I don't think there's one with a code. Let's just. No, some you need key cards for. That's a room we can't access yet. Yeah. Is there some kind of, you know, upstairs area? I think we have more key cards though. Let's take a look. Quarantine. Wait, what was the other one? Sales? We have some other codes. I don't know how you get in here. Can I, like, blow shit up? I can't whack it. Balls. 
I'm not really sure how I get in there. I'm gonna look at the other places and see if the key cards work. Defend me, robot. Is it sales division or did we already go into sales division? Hold on. Volunteer. Why did I space so hard? No. Volunteer? Is that a whole separate category? I want more signs so I know what I'm doing. Employee orientation. Let's look at volunteer. There's a map. Mm, Hold on a minute. I don't see anything called volunteer. I feel dumb. Is that where we came from? No key card for that. Let's go up there and just see, because I don't know. It's a key card and I'm pretty sure we haven't used it and I'll look over here real quick, but Ah No IT there's a code. Do we have that? <sighs> Not yet. And we can't lift that. Hold on. Leverage three? Jesus, guys. I might be able to open something else, though. No, wherever that is, I don't know. Let me. There's that. Mm, where's the. In the bathroom? Is this where we were? Or was that in the other area? Oh. So there's extras here. Already been there. If there's not another restroom, then it must be in the previous chapter. Um, gosh. I don't know then. That might be all we can do. Like, I think it's weird that it's like search for his corpse, but we don't seem to be able to. I'm looking it up before we finish. <sighs> we'll see you shortly. Good morning, Talos. Warning, tampering with administrative controls on workstations or keypads may result in electric shock. 
If you're having trouble accessing a system, please send a help alert to security. There's supposed to be an email that says he was taken to Psychotronics instead of the trauma center. Oh my god, I think I recycled Bellamy's bracelet. I thought about not doing it, but... Let's go look and see if we missed an email. And then we will end it, I swear. And then I will dwell upon if I'm gonna purchase the full game. Oh yeah, I didn't think it would work. That's why I hadn't tried before. But that's fine. Scanning target, no alien yeah, material yeah. Getting around is going to be a problem. The main lift is broken. Hmm. The system is telling me it's fine. It's just... The diagnostic code is changing every time I make a request. I'll let you know if I find a workaround. I must have missed an email. Oh, did I... Maybe I never opened this computer. What a silly. Well, a lot of people are dead. Nom normal. Is that what that says? Nominal, excuse me. I was like, normal? What? Let's see if the lady who that was like vaguely into us, her gentleman, is on here. I forget their name, but I'll recognize it if I see it. Oh, there's more. I think it started with an M. Their nickname was like Micah or something. I'm just curious. Ever the shipper? Okay. Me? No. Um. Don't see it. Should I should probably be looking for what's his face's name? But like, come on. Uh. Don't see them. I'll check the email. Weird, I can't pull those records up. They're not in the system. Still want me to swing by. Alejandro, please come see me. Can you transfer her charts and family records as well, Regina? Sorry, I should have informed you. The NSP was shot for Chief Aishan. Mild. Psygonomic fatigue. Should have logged out. Who is the NSP being ministered to? Inventory shows a case of the booster shots are missing. Incoming casualties. Uh, attention. You have multiple people on route. Injuries. One of them is Dr. Sylvian Bellamy. Do not take him into the trauma center. He's taken to psychotronics. Do not admit him to the trauma center. Take him to psychotronics. Alex Hugh. Where is psychotronics? Probably nowhere we can access, but... like that's the area that's barred. But we'll walk down there anyway. Hmm. To the right? Oh! Oh, yeah, it's locked off. Mm-hmm. Alright, well, that's it for the demo, I'm guessing. I'll take that. I think I will play it. Like, I don't know when. I don't know if I'm going to splurge. It's on sale right now, but... I don't know. I have so many games that I need to play. And I just bought, like, three games. So I just spent over $100 on games, and I'm just like, uh eh. But maybe for the winter Steam sale? You know? Hmm? Either way, I will definitely play this when I own it, so hopefully um, you can play the demo yourself, I think. I don't know if there's expiration on it, um, but I, I think this is quite pretty and cool, and 
Um, I haven't actually heard a lot of people talking about, like, plot stuff, but, um, it's pretty. <laughs> Alright guys, you can watch me in other playthroughs that I do usually full. I've got a lot of things going, I'm playing Mass Effect and uh, Life is Life is Strange prequel, and I just played Hellblade, which is super good. That's finished on my channel, and other stuff. What else? got something else going too. Oh, good stuff going. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching. Bye guys.